idea is like, you know, I'm super interested in like retail, obviously like my background in architecture and, you know, like love for sort of giving off-white more more ambiance than just the clothes, you know, like that's the only way to like see into the brand. So the store is, you know, like the latest representation of how uh, I see physical retail for a young sort of luxury brand like my own. The, the sort of growth in the market and uh, evolution of the women's brand gave us the opportunity to open up like a more women's focused off-white sort of retail space. So that's what I think the milestone actually is, is that the women's wear having a, an adjacent but particularly different identity than the men's that it can withhold its own retail space. So the idea was to sort of like embrace the sort of non-traditional shape and finish only half the store. So the part that we're sitting in is like unfinished, whereas like the other half is like completely finished so that you can appreciate the two. And uh, that juxtaposition is sort of like native to the brand, you know. That's what off-white literally means. I find inspiration by traveling and meeting people and seeing different sights and sounds. That's where, you know, I get ideas from. I think a lot of people get lost in looking for some like magic piece of advice, you know, because it's, it's like almost like more I don't know what the right word, it's like, there's actually no trick. <laughs> the key is just to start with just even like the most sizable part that you can actually do. Maybe not the full vision, but starting will usually start a domino effect to sort of like finish and get you to where you wanna go. You can't bootleg, you can't counterfeit something that's not wanted. So it's like the highest achievement that you can get is to make an idea and then someone want to make a copy of it. Okay. Next season, um, these are Levi's off-white jeans with like this branding. This is like gonna be the next like sort of like consistent branding on my denim. This is sort of like embroidery. These haven't been seen, so that's, <laughs> you know, more work with Levi's. 2019 I'm doing a museum exhibition show an exhibition showing the importance of street culture not the product not streetwear but the idea that a generation like ours can make things that are that important you know for a lifetime like looking at youth culture as an art movement not as like streetwear and streetwear brands not as like high snobiety as like a streetwear blog or something like that like it's you know, it's as contemporary as and important as, you know, the New York Times to a specific group of people around the world. It's the same way as the products we're making or the artists that are a part of the scene are just as important as Warhol and Basquiat as, as the larger world sort of places it. So that's what, you know, I'm working. It's 2019, so it's not anywhere near soon, but that's sort of, to me, the most exciting thing that I'm working on is not projects that are like, hey, you have this shoe coming out and we see this leaked image of that. It's like something deeper and bigger at play. Meanwhile, that there's other projects happening that I think is an importance for the whole culture, not just self-serving my own brand or something like that.